Welcome back to the channel for another DJ Wilkes golf video. We've absolutely played one. Get in! Um, it is the middle of the week for me, Thursday, 9 o'clock in the morning, frosty out here. Let's have it! Come on! So today we are back at Hagley Golf Club. We are jumping out onto the back nine. We're going to be doing a complete stroke, no handicaps, no shots, um, solo, try and beat par challenge. So there's not really much more to say than it's a cold January morning. We're out at pretty much first light, so we've got the sun coming off. Looks like it's going to be a good day for a game of golf. Come on, let's get out of here. We've got the 10th hole, which is our first today. It is a slight dog leg left. When you get down to the bottom of the green, it is a big two tier green, so it comes down to the bottom. Um, pretty straightforward. Our aim line really is the big tree. We want to be drawing it off that big tree. Well, to be honest, we want to be a lot further left than that and get it over the top of these trees. And that puts us in a really good position. So we've got driver. It's a bit slippy on this mat but we're going to have to make it work, aren't we? So I just got to our ball. We're just down the left side, I think. We're just in fairway, just in rough. It's all a bit icy, it all looks exactly the same. Um, we've got 120 yards, pin is down the bottom of the slope, so we're just going to play a little light wedge, because I think even this wedge is probably a little bit too much. Be the ball, be the ball, go, go. Might be a little bit big, but I think, I think it's good. I don't really know what chances we're going to get out here today before making birdies and stuff because it is it is really wet on the greens. But like this one should literally stay where it was. So I think I've got to get it really close with my approach shots, but also I'm going to struggle to hold putts from distances, I think. But we say that, we'll still give it a go. Go on then, go on then. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. There's something quite aesthetic about being like first on the golf course on a winter's day, because you get to see that, that dew line, that icy line. This one, we just want to see in the hole. Oh, no way, man. It's all right. First hole, little five. We'll take that onto the next. Right, on to the 11th, our second. Look at these icy tees, man. Shocking, shocking. If we don't slip on this, it'd be a miracle. Uh, on to the 11th, so I've got par five. We're literally straight down the hill. Um, big drive down here, and then that opens up to us hitting on for two, um, potentially eagle and more chance of a birdie, which we now need to get back after the last hole. So. Driver, give this a go. Don't know if we're going to slip here or not, but we're going to try. A little bit of a slip, but we're all right. Yeah, just down the right side. We might not have a chance to get on in two, but in that position, we can knock it down further and get on for three, like an all par five, and hopefully close. So we're just on the right side, we've just got over the top of this bunker that we've got here. Uh, we've got about 200, 220 left in. We're gonna have to cut it round this tree, play a bit of a punch, and just try and get it as close down as possible. The pin is on the right, so we wanna be left. Um, I've got seven iron, and we're just gonna try and give it a bit of a punch out, just get it down there. That's the plan anyway.
Well, the plan didn't go to plan. We've hit the tree anyway, but we're just uh, just in the fairway now, so we'll make recovery from there. Got to get it close now. 190 yards to the pin. We have got four iron in hand. So there is a bunker down by the green. So we've just got to get it big enough. So I've gone with four. It's probably the bigger club really, but it's a bit cold out here. I want to make sure we get it all the way. So. We haven't played a good one there. We've caught it so far. So we're in big recovery mode now. We're now playing our fourth, so this has got to be close. We need to get the up and down here. Um, we've got about 65 yards. So literally like half swing for 60 degree, I think. Just got to get it as close as possible. Here we go. Now sit, now sit, now sit, sit. We've absolutely played one. Get in. Look at that. Fantastic shot. Just goes to show how scrappy the hole might be. You're never truly out of it until you knock it in. Always got that chance. Just can't give up on it. Get in. And we say that, that is a massive par for us. Staying at one over, going on to our third hole, the 12th. Let's go. So how are we guys doing today? Um, it is the middle of the week for me. We're on Thursday. It's around nine o'clock in the morning. It's a bit frosty out here, as you would have been able to see. So as you might have known, when I was recording this, we was at around just shy of 200 subscribers. Hopefully we've hit that 200 mark now. Just obviously, if you're liking the content we're creating, if there's anything specific that you are liking, don't forget to give it a like, give it a comment. Let us know what you want to see on the channel. It's important to me to know what you want as well as what I want to do. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Right. On to the 12th hole. So we've got par three, um, we've got 192 yards into the pin. Um, the pin is just behind that bunker. It's right of it, so it's, we've still got a chance to get into it. Uh, there is also another bunker on the right side. So we've just got to try aim for the middle of the green on this one. This is a difficult hole. We don't want to try something too much. So we just want to get it on the green, make the two put, get the par, get off, because it is a difficult hole. So we've got five iron. Ah, uh, it's a little bit fat. We've got some work to do on this one now. <laughs> I really don't know what to do on this shot. Obviously, we've got a lot of fairway in between us. We've got a lot of green to work with, but I just don't know how this green is going to react. Because this one's so covered, it's potentially quite icy, so it could potentially just bounce off. But what we're going to try and do, I think it's got to be, I've got to hit the green. I don't think I can drop it short. I think if I drop that short, it's just going to stick there. So I think I've got to fly this most of the way. I've got a 54 degree. It's not often we play in uh, conditions like this. Bit like that. Be good. Oh, I tell you what. Considering what we've got to play with, I think I've done pretty well there. And what I will say, striking off the tee is not great, but around the greens at the minute, bang on. As happy as I was with that shot, we've still got a hell of a lot to work with. We've still got a good 15 foot left in, so not really high hopes for the par. Come on! <laughs> Let's have it! Come on! What an absolute banging par save. One over after three. Great position. Let's go over to the 13th. So 
So that was obviously massive for us. We're still one over. It's a bit cold down this end, all shaded. Anyway, another big hole up here. So we, we want to be making bogey at most, but obviously we're still going to try for the par. We are trying to break par, so we do need to get going. But we've got birdie chances coming up. So we've got the 13th hole, long par four, 300 and about 60 yards, straight up an hill, and then it goes up the hill again. So it is quite difficult. That's a little bit right. It's just hard on these mats because as soon as you slip your foot back, it's automatically going to do that. So it's so difficult. We're down the right side of the rough. We haven't really got much on. So we've got a little, little gap in the trees here. We're just going to play a little five iron. Bit of a stinger, bit of a punch, just to get it back into play. Sit down then, sit. I think that tree's actually up just a little bit, a bit of luck, but that'll be all right. Pin's on the right side of the green, so we'll, we'll bank it on from there. On to our third, need to do some magic here, get it as close as possible. Uh, the white flag's saying that the pin is at the back of the green. We've got 120 yards. I don't know if this is the right decision. I was gonna go for wedge, but I've upped the club because it's, as soon as hitting the green, it's just stopping. I just got to make that that carry number be literally on it. So I think with it going uphill a little bit, it's probably playing 120, 125, 130. So we've gone up that club. So we've got nine iron in hand. Not much more I can tell you. Oh, a little bit thin, but it'll work. Go, go. I'm having a bit of trouble with my strike at the minute because what I tend to do is when I come through to the ball, like my right foot's already coming up, I'm already working on coming up, where so I don't get much compression in the ball, which I know I'm losing a hell of a lot of distance from doing that. So I'm really trying to get the compression, getting through that ball and keeping that right foot down to pull, pull me down basically, to then get the compression on the ball and then follow through. So I'm finding it a bit difficult, but which is probably where that thing comes from because I was trying to really done the opposite but on the green so we're all right as you can probably imagine i am really really happy with the outcome of that a little bit thin but this is the issue with a lot of people is they all think it's got to be this magical it's got to look amazing but nobody know nobody sees the score apart from the players that you're playing with so however you get it in the hole it don't matter obviously it does a little bit but we're okay, we can recover a little bit. So we've got left to right swinger. This seems to always swing quite a bit. Whether it does on this wet ground today is another story. But can we knock another one in to save par again? Can we? Ah, oh, it's all right. Can't complain with that. After miss hitting the drive, right, then hitting a tree, thinning it a little bit, two put, I think we'll, we'll walk away with not a lot of damage done. So, on to the next. So we might, we might be okay on this one, on this mat. So we've got 14th, par four. We've got two fairway bunkers. We've got two green side bunkers. And then we've got the green straight down the middle. So I don't think it's gonna be reachable today. So we're just aiming for the middle of the fairway. Knock it on for two. But obviously this, this hole is always a very good chance to make birdie. So we're gonna try and make that happen because we need, we're two over, we need to get down one. Hold the line, hold the line. Yeah, just under the tree on the right. 
on the 15th tee, that'll be just fine. So really not quite that great here. Uh, we've got the big tree in the way. We've got the arms of the tree in the way as well. It's not that bad. I've got 50 degree. I'm gonna try and play it a little bit lower. We've got to kind of drive it all the way because it will just stop, as you would have seen on the on the 12th. So, a bit of a difficult one. We're not going for the pin, we're just going for the green, because if we go for the pin, we're being stupid. So just get it on the green, two put, walk away with par, even though we want the birdie. Not great. Really not great. I was thinking about chipping this, but it's on a bit of a weird lie. And I just don't know how it's going to react. Not really a fan of putting this because we've got a lot of a lot of fringe to work with. So we're just going to have to give it a little bit extra. I'll give it a go, I suppose. Sit, 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 sit. Not a bad effort, that. Not a bad effort at all. Come on. And that's the par. Awesome. So, pretty good. We're two over, we're now on to the 15th hole. So 15th is long par five, it's about 550 yards long. We go over the top of this big tree, then it's a slight dogleg left, and then it comes into a green, which is surrounded by trees, beautiful hole. Signature hole for this course. So, we've got driver. A bit like that. Yeah, nice drive. So, I hope you guys are enjoying the content at the moment. As we start to get into the summer, March, April time, I'm gonna try and bring you more videos. Um, it's quite a lot of stuff I do wanna do. I'm like, really, really wanna do a hole in one challenge because I think it'd just be sick. Um, I want to try and get out and do more 14 club challenges. So I've got to find some golf courses. I do want to do more break par challenges like today. So if you've got any courses that you'd like to see me try and break par, then drop them down below and let me know. But a lot of good content coming. So another big hole. We've got 160 yards to the big tree. From there, we've got about 130 in. So that's the sort of range we want to be. So I'm just going to hit, just going to hit an easy six iron. We're on a bit of a slope, so it's obviously going to draw around. So we're just aiming for the tree line, really, for it to come back. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Not as far as I wanted to get it. Caught it a little bit fat again. Just like I say, I was still trying to work out, get on that. Not really a great place to be doing it on the course. Should be doing it on the range more, but it's just getting on my nerves a little bit. So we've got 160. It should really be maybe like a seven iron, but I think if anything, I'm gonna be short. So I'm gonna play the longer club. I'm gonna go six iron. Get the longer club down there. We wanna get it on the top tier. So, give it a go, I suppose. It's a better ball. Go, get up, get up. A little bit thin, so we haven't got it all the way. It's on the bottom tier. Running reg, so that's all right. As you can see, absolutely massive putt. So, we're going dustbin lid. Just gotta get the right right, to be honest. We've just gotta get it up there and within about four foot. And, and if we do that, I'll be really happy with it. It's all right to left, so it should swing quite a bit. 
gonna grip a little bit harder. Got to hit it even harder than that. Jesus. Uh, same again, quite a big putt. Get it the distance. Can't really knock myself on putting on this hole because I've messed it up with my approach. Oh! <laughs> and we'll knock that in. For bogey. So, we are currently standing at three over par. We've got three holes left to play. So we need three birdies, birdie, 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 to get back to break par. Um, doesn't look very lightly at the moment, but it's not over till you get to the last hole. But we've got the 16th, we've got 347 yards. We've got it straight down. We've got a lake in front of us. We've got a couple of trees. Pretty straightforward. We've got a green side bunker. We're going to go hybrid, play it a little bit different. Driver's not really going the way I want it to go, so we're going to play hybrid. That'll drop us about 200 yards, leaves about 150 left in. Where's the draw? Come on, man. Should be just in the gap between the trees, not great. So we are blocked out with the trees. There's no way of us hitting the green here. Um, we're just going to take our medicine, knock it out, Leave us about 120 left in and uh, go from there. So I got seven iron, just gonna punch it out. Just gotta get it on the fairway. Like that. Yeah, perfect, just where I want it to be. 110 yards, flag in the middle. Got a 15, it's a full one at that, to be honest. Didn't wanna go wedge, didn't wedge too much. We've got a bit of a breeze coming down with us as well. Come on, be good, be good. A little bit long, a little bit left. So now it's all thawed out a little bit. I don't know how this is going to react again. We're just going to get on the top of that bit of green there. Or we'll just send it across the green. I mean, golf aside, what a beautiful day it's turning out to be. Ice this morning, beautiful sunshine now. The golf just ain't good enough, is it? So we really need to hold this. If we hold this, this will be awesome. Putting's been on form today, to be fair. Sight's like been on form, I'm gonna do that. Oh God. Play the safe option and end up with a double. So that's just dropped us into five over. I don't think the break par is today. Right, we are five over. Um, not really great. But we are going to keep going. So we've got two holes left to play. We're on to the 17th now. Par three, it's playing 140 yards. Surrounded by bunkers, there's one on the right, one in the front and one on the left. Um, we're just going to play from the middle of the green, which is exactly where the flag is. Try and get that strike going, because that's what we're struggling with. That's a better strike. Go, go. Yeah, it's like that pin eye. A little bit right to left, get the weight right, and then we walk off with a par. Go ball, go ball. <sighs> right then, 18th hole. We've seen a lot this this nine holes, haven't we really? We've seen trees, we've seen all sorts. Anyway, uh, we're standing at five over. I would really, really love to get a birdie down here. 
So they say we've had one. Get that shot back. Because my handicap, I should be shooting three over really on, on the back nine. So we've got a slight dog leg right at the very end. Um, we're going straight down the hole. We've then got a lake at the bottom, par five. And then we're going over the top of the lake onto the, the green at the top to finish. So I've got driver. And he does. Yeah, that's a ball. Yeah, it's well down there. Perfect. So I've got the ball. We're 193 yards away. I'm going to go up the club. I'm going to go hybrid. I'd rather be long than short. So this is going to be playing like a free iron, free hybrid. Come on. Last hole, last chance. He's done one. He's done one. And we're just on the side of the green. Come on. So all we need here is an up and down. And that's birdie. And that will leave me very happy to finish the round. So we're just going to try and chip it close again. After nine hours, I still don't know how this is going to react. So I've got 50 degree. Come on, play nice and low, let it run out, leave me a tapping birdie. Sit, 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 sit. I'm pretty happy with that. That's turned out quite nice. Here we go then. Birdie time. Come on. Come on. Lovely, lovely finish. So that is the 